What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are up 27,300 on the year. Today we made about $1,302 on NVIDIA. So we definitely scalped them today. I have all my entries and exits right here. This is the Fidelity Active Trader program right here. So we've had a very good week with NVIDIA. If you just look at custom here, you can set the dates and I can go back. Let's just go back to last week up until today, the last Monday. We can see that I'm up over $7,800, almost $8,000 in the last week of trading. So it's definitely been a very strong week trading. As you can see, I lost 216 on Apple. I lost uh, $21 on a NVIDIA put. And then going long on NVIDIA, I made 7,300. And then SPSM, I have almost over eight and $900 in gains right there. So we definitely have been doing very well day trading. We'll try to keep that momentum up. We'll see if there's any more opportunities later on before the bell ends, but it looks like that'll probably be it for us. And what do I do with those gains? I buy more S&P 500. You can see here, FXAIX on the top left right here is where I have the, the order to buy some more at the end of the day. And it's gonna sit in there for the next many years. So that's all I do with the gains. I just put them into the S&P, I buy other stocks, but that's what the day trading money is for, is to try to be able to allocate more money to other positions that I own. So I just wanted to show you that, that's an update on it, and it's been going well right now. Um, in terms of the rest of the day, I'm just looking at Nvidia here just to see, are we gonna get a retest this VWAP? It's staying above VWAP, which is good, but 122.2, I was trying to get a scalp there, but it just didn't, it went to 0.4, stayed 20 cents above, didn't dip. And I'm trying to see if this is gonna come back down a little bit, but right now it's not. It's just, it's holding. NVIDIA is strong. And I wanna see if we get another retest just at this 122 level, waiting for that whole dollar to make an entry, but it doesn't look like it. NVIDIA is moving on back up. And if it can break this trend line, it might be able to do that. So right now it looks like it's breaking it, but let's just get further confirmation. You got the one minute passing it. Let's see what it does with the five minute. And we'll see if it can break through that. Cause right now this could be a potential move back up just with that flag like that right there. And then boom, bounce up. So we'll see what it wants to do. We're just gonna watch it. We made money on the day. I'm not gonna take any more risks unless it's a good entry. So that's where we're at today. I just wanted to show you those gains. We're definitely doing well on NVIDIA lately. Guys, always appreciate you tuning in. Just putting in July, it's July 2nd, so not all the data has come in, but we already got nice 13 subscribers. Thank you guys for joining, 2366. Definitely check out my content, a lot to offer you guys. Always bring this up for you guys. Definitely just go through my playlist. You can see there's a lot of stuff here, investing ideas, index funds, ETFs, or you know, p and long-term investments, Fidelity Active Trader Pro, what I use to day trade. Definitely check out my posts. I post things all the time to see what your, you know, your favorite stocks are and stuff. And look at this recent poll that I put up. The I said, if you could only hold one of these stocks forever, which one would you choose? And NVIDIA and Google are the top leaders right now out of, I think it's over 65 votes. So that's pretty big. I haven't had that many votes before, so I appreciate you guys uh, definitely contributing and uh, participating in it. And uh, that's it. Come check out the channel.